but you can even see the circus right here which is connected to that praetorium which is going to give you some better views of the city the best views are going to be over at the cathedral but you can get some really nice views just on the inside and it's really worth the trip what's up guys patrick here tour guide and your guide to barcelona and more we're here in tarragona one of the best day trips that you can take outside of the city of barcelona it's one of the 15 cities in all of spain that is patrimony of humanity so you definitely got to check it out and in this video i'm going to give you five things that you can do here to make the most out of your trip If you're coming over to the cathedral, it's definitely worth it to go inside. I'll take you in in just a minute so you can see exactly what you're going to see. But for five euros, you can see everything by yourselves. For an extra 10, for 15 euros, you get a guided tour, which gets you to understand everything that's going on in the inside. But it also takes you up to the bell tower. And this is the only way you can get up to the bell tower, get a tour up there, but also the best views of Tarragona. Check that out. So you definitely want to take that extra 10 euros, splurge a little bit, go out of your way, but you're definitely going to want to get on one of those tours to go inside the cathedral. Another spot you got to come over to is La Rambla Nova, the new Rambla. It's very much like Barcelona, has a big walkway with a bunch of different shops to come and see. Definitely spend some time over here, but where it ends, which you can see right in front of me, is the Mediterranean Sea. And what it's called is the Mediterranean balcony. And you can see those beautiful views out to each side, just up the coast and even down over to the port. But the one thing that you should probably do if you come over here is you have to touch the balcony. You've got to touch the iron. They say that if you touch the iron, you'll get good luck. So I hope you guys feel it as well. The other thing you have to see is the circus and the praetorium, which you can see most of it right behind me, so you don't even really have to go in, but it's so much more worth it to go inside and check it all out. There's about four main Roman parts of the city that you need to see while you're here, and then you can get them all in one of the same ticket for about 740. So it's super cheap to buy them all together to make sure, even if you don't wanna go into all of them, it's definitely worth to get that ticket all together. You save a lot of money, but you can even see the circus right here, which is connected to that praetorium, which is gonna give you some better views of the city. Well, you can see a lot from just the outside. There's so many hidden tunnels underneath to explore that you gotta get inside to check them all out. Once you get inside, you have those views of the circus, which is where they did the chariot and the horse races, kind of reminiscent of that Ben-Hur, but you also have views out to the sea, and you can see those right behind me there. And later you'll have that connection over to the Predatorio, which is gonna be more of that idea of some views out to the rest of the city, but it was more than anything, kind of that connection in from the city over to the circus, then turned into a palace for the kings and queens of Aragon, and then later even a prison but you have great views up at the top. And so we'll get over there and we'll check those out as well. Like I said before, some of the best views in the city outside of the cathedral, which you can see just in the back there, but you can see out to basically all of the city. And you even get views out into the sea. Imagine for 740 you get the four Roman sites, but if you're gonna have to pick one, and you wanna get the views involved, this one's the one to go with. And right across the street from the circus and from the Priatorio, you have the Roman amphitheater. And this is something that you have to see if you're here in Tarragona. Remember that it comes in part of that four path of the Roman sites that you can see. You've got it just off of the Mediterranean Sea. Beautiful, beautiful views. And if you've seen Gladiator, it's gonna bring you back to those memories of that movie as well.
Another place you're going to want to come, and it's part of the pack of the four Roman sites that you can go see, are the Roman walls. You can walk along the original Roman walls, and it's a really nice walk. And you can see parts of the history of Tarragona, see parts of the original Roman wall. They're going to show you just how big Tarraco was back in those Roman times. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, those are the five things that you need to see while you're here in Tarragona, but there is so much more to see as well, so much history. So if you're here in Barcelona, you're gonna definitely wanna get over to Tarragona. But in the meantime, if you wanna get better prepared for your trip, or even just keep connected after you leave, make sure to subscribe to the channel, check things out, check some more of those videos out as well, and I'll keep you updated on everything that's going on here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.